All right. This is Hamada from uh, Right Track Admissions, founder and CEO. I am dressed in a spiffy suit today because I went uh, to court over there. There's the Office of Disability and Adjudication Review, which is some of the work that I've been doing uh, in recent years, in addition to uh, other career opportunities that I've had in international development, uh, corporate law, and other uh, career pursuits in the field of law. So today I want to quickly give you guys a cool video from the top of the Nomad Hotel here in downtown LA. Um, I thought it's always nice to give you guys a cool backdrop. It is still sunny, it is still beautiful here in LA. And today I wanna to talk about two main topics. Number one is the diversity statement. And number two is the letter of recommendation, uh, both of which oftentimes are overlooked by, uh, by students when they're applying to law schools. So let's quickly uh, go over what is the law school application. You've got the personal statement, diversity statement, Oftentimes that's also known as an addendum, or not an addendum, excuse me, a supplemental essay that talks really about your diversity, an issue that is becoming very, very, very frequent and very, very important in uh, law schools and in graduate schools and colleges and the workforce in general, inclusion and diversity. The third is the resume and the fourth is the addendum to highlight any kind of challenges or weaknesses that you've experienced in your application or in your life, excuse me. I love this guy right back here. I think it's so funny that they have that. Um, so anyway, in here, what we want to talk about in terms of the diversity statement is what is the purpose of the diversity statement? And the diversity statement really is about why and how you are going to add to the class and the community at your respective law school. And that is not just merely racial you know, experience or ethnic identity. Uh, it's not just merely about sexual orientation or socioeconomic tribulations. It's not merely about medical uh, challenges that you've faced, employments that different employment opportunities that you've had that really kind of distinguish you. It is really a combination of all of those and really who you are and how you're going to add to the discourse, to the policy discussions, uh, to the understanding, to the tolerance required, especially for law school. So when you think about the diversity statement, you definitely want to kind of highlight, uh, and the way I try to do this. Uh, with our clients is to say, okay, if the personal statement's about why you want to go to law school and you did a lot of volunteer work, then use the volunteer work experience in terms of your diversity to show your compassion, your empathy, your ability to understand and how to advocate effectively for people. That, I think, is one of the best ways to really kind of highlight diversity because at the end of the day, that is what diversity is. If you are a Caucasian male overrepresented person in law school, that doesn't make a difference if you've done so much great work in terms of volunteering for indigent communities, um, if you have traveled the world and seen other cultures and been able to kind of interact in a way that's really unique, that's what they want to see. Somebody's empathetic, somebody who's tolerant, somebody's understanding, somebody who can understand the narratives of other people and why they advocate for certain things, their plight. That's the importance of diversity, especially as it applies to law school. The second thing I want to talk about quickly is the uh, letter of recommendation. This is very important, so you got to really pay attention to this. The letter of recommendation for law school really want, you want to kind of highlight a couple of key qualities. Advocacy skills, if possible, oratory skills, analysis, writing skills, leadership skills. These are the things that you really want to kind of highlight in those letters of recommendation. Now, you ask me, well, where should we get the letters of rec? Well, you definitely want to get one that is professional. Even if you've been out of school for a long time, they're going to look for that. Why? Because the degree you're applying to is inherently academic in nature. So they need to know that what you are offering, what you are uh, that you are able to really tackle the rigor of law school. So you've got to have professional, prof I mean, excuse me, uh, uh, academic letters of recommendation. So at least one. And you want to really kind of highlight, especially from the academic perspective, the analysis, the writing skills, maybe the oratory skills if you are vocal in class and so forth. And in terms of professional, if you have professional experience, bring out the professional experience as well, especially when it talks about leadership skills, advocacy skills, and so forth. Those are the kind of things you really want to bring about. If you don't have professional skills, or if you do, but you have stronger volunteer experience, the volunteer experience is fantastic. So if you have the opportunity for three letters of recommendation, I would say two academic, one volunteer, two academic, one professional, two academic, you know, uh, excuse me, one academic, if, if at all costs, you can't get any more academic, one academic, one professional, one volunteer to kind of really showcase all your different qualities. So I really hope that helps. 
we do a ton of stuff on law school. I myself went through a lot of trouble to try to get into a top law school. I did, even though I had a poor LSAT score, um, and uh, was able to have a really awesome uh, law school uh, experience and a legal career. So we're here to help you get across the goal line, everything from the personal statement to the addendum and everything in between. Um, so we really hope to uh, work with you on that opportunity and definitely, definitely work to get your applications out by Thanksgiving or the latest by the middle of December to give you shot yourself the best chances of admission. Also